All right, we are here with the BCO boys down in Arizona. It's the BCO long range auction item. This is for two and a half days of shooting, three days total. It's up to four people can go on this experience. I think it's really exciting. I'm super jazzed to sit here and talk through it with Brady and with JP down in Arizona. Obviously beautiful weather down there. These guys run an amazing operation as far as a shooting school. And I kind of want to get into this and talk a little bit about why a shooting school is important and what you can expect on, on bidding on this auction item. So first off, thanks JP, thanks Brady for being on, shooting this and talking a little bit about your shooting school. Yeah, well, hey, thanks for having us. JP, the Big Chino Operators here at the BCO headquarters with my right hand man here, Brady, otherwise known as Tatanka, you know, and we were really fortunate to have Brady uh, here. Uh, he's a uh, retired U.S. Uh, Marine sniper, he worked in a bunch of special operations and one day when the guys come out here, we'll tell them how he got his name Tatanka, which is really an interesting story. So uh, out here at the PCO headquarters, you know, we have our own facility. Um, and right now we're sitting in the, what we call the hunter's cabin. So this is where the accommodation would be with three bedroom cabin. The guys would stay and they got a shower and flat screen TV, Wi-Fi, camp cook. Um, they'll be here at the facility and we set up a classroom environment for this long range shooting. And we actually have this most incredible situation that we have these big canyons um, on our facility. Um, and so you literally can walk right off the porch and go out to a shooting platform and you can shoot out to 1,500, 2,000 yards. And we have different locations set up. So all based on what we're trying to accomplish. But um, anyhow, Brady's in charge of that. I'm gonna let Brady kind of go with it, but just uh, thank you guys. And uh, we're excited to, uh, that BCO can do something with it. Yeah, that's Absolutely. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's really cool. Thanks JP for the introduction. So Brady, give me a, a 30 second background of yourself and kind of what your, your experience is in long range shooting. Awesome introduction, um, humbling, but I spent almost a decade in the Marine Corps as a sniper. I spent time with uh, Recon over there and then, um, got to do a really humbling job with some really cool dudes over there in the special operations world. So growing up in the outdoors, I was able to um, utilize that into my mindset and to get myself into the military background that I wanted to. Now, what I do now is I applicate that to um, the hunting area. Uh, hunting is a big thing for me and what we have out here is something that you don't see very much. And so uh, when JP asked me to come on, he was like, what can you give me? I said, dude, the possibilities are endless here. So uh, I take from anywhere from observation, uh, long range shooting practice mindset to uh, internal checklist to anything that you need to learn. Um, like JP said, we have the ability out here to recreate those scenarios for you in the hunting area. So um, anything from alternate positions to uh, shooting in the wind, the wind out here with these big canyons is a huge thing. Um, so we have that to our knowledge um, and then we can use that to advocate prior to uh, a hunt or just a regular shooting course. And so um, all, all in all, really what I want is to be able to take what I have and the knowledge from the Marine Corps and the military and uh, put that into kind of the, off there. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of fusing those two together. Um, you know, and we've talked a little bit about your hunting operation and now we're talking about your shooting operation. And one thing that I, I do love about long range shooting courses is kind of putting a method to the madness. You know, when you're when you're trying to get better and shooting out uh, and being more accurate on different uh, animals at different ranges, it really does boil down to kind of your system that you have set up internally. And you learn that at your course. You know, kind of walk me through what what's the first day and kind of give me the classroom setting, a few points that you guys cover, and then kind of the shooting portion of it. I did love that you guys actually allow archery, muzzle loader, long range rifles. You kind of let the, the the person coming to the course dictate what they uh, what they get to shoot. And so I kind of wanted to, to, to hear that side of things. Like I said, we have the, uh, the ability to recreate those scenarios. Now, the biggest thing is when people get into those scenarios, you hear it all the time is that 
buck fever or, or whatever they want to call it. Well, all it really is, is an accumulation of the sources inside you coming all out at once. And so what I'm going to start with is basically getting your familiarization to that rifle. Uh, what that's going to do is ground you um, to focus on what you're there to do rather than getting all excited. So we start off and I'll take you uh, in a real informal setting. It's a gentleman's course. It's uh, or ladies course because we do have those female shooters out there and so I'll break down your rifles for you so don't worry about coming there having it zeroed or anything like that because I'm going to teach you the optics I'm going to teach you the rifle I'm going to teach you setup I'm going to teach you ballistics I'm going to teach you the wind which everybody loves um, and then I'm going to teach you alternate positions because as we know in the hunting area a shot is rarely taken from the prone so um, the mindset I think is the biggest piece so if you go to the range and everybody's sitting there doing their own thing, but you're scared to say anything, feel free to say it to me and I'll be right there with you. Um, and getting you comfortable in that position of being a confident shooter, regardless of your platform. Awesome. Um, that and it, and it is cool that you get to kind of, you know, be there uh, undisturbed for a couple days, just learning not only about your own weapon, learning about, you know, zeroing your optics and things that you can take back with you so that the next year you know you're not paying somebody to sight your rifle and you can go do that all yourself and then having that mentality to be able to kind of uh you know walk yourself through shooting an animal what ranges you're comfortable at i presume you probably have guys shooting at what they're comfortable at and then you push them beyond that yardage and try to make it so that they feel like they went home and they actually are a better shooter than when they started Absolutely, absolutely. Like, um, you know, JP said uh, earlier, we have a show called Guided, and one of the shots on there was a 1,200-yard lethal shot um, with a 2.8 Nosler. So everybody thinks, you know, 25 years ago, six or 600 yards was long range. Now, 1,600 is, is long range. To me, it's a drop in the bucket. But I want to take that and take my mentality and put it into the confidence of our hunters or shooters, depending on what your uh, specialty wants to be. Awesome. So we've got four people for two and a half days of shooting, includes the courses, includes all of that stuff. Um, do you guys have weapons there? If you have, do you have long range rifles there for people if they don't have one themselves or do they have to bring their own? So we do have uh, the ability to outfit you with a rifle. Uh, you can rent a rifle from us and we can, we have a couple different calibers from your 6.5s to the 2.8s to even if you just want to do a muzzle loader. Um, we have bows, we have weapons, we have, we have the ability to outfit you completely. We are big Chino outfitters and that's what we're here to do. That's cool. I mean, you think about it, if somebody's getting into hunting, this would be an awesome introductory to be able to understand the calibers, what calibers you hunt with, what calibers you don't hunt with, what calibers I maybe need to go buy. You know, if I'm yes. looking at like this, this auction item and I'm thinking about it, it would also be a really cool retreat if you have a leadership retreat that you want to do, um, where you can Absolutely. actually meet three of your top leaders, have some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with them outside of the course, and then also just enjoy like a really cool atmosphere to learn about long range shooting guns, what guns shoot long range, because you can't just walk out with any gun and think that you're going to be able to, you know, shoot something at a thousand yards. You got to have the right optics. You have the right, the right gear to be able to pull that shot off. And that's what's right. cool about these shooting schools is you learn all of that. And then you kind of have that and you can then go take that and, and apply it to what you need. Right. And with um, me being a, a full time guide with JP here, JP will sit here and we'll chalk talk and, and scenario it, it up. But we're using our actual real life scenarios in the field to replicate back here in the shooting community. Um, I'll get into your mindset anywhere from, you know, a lot of people are wondering, is my rifle going to have enough energy past that thousand yards to make a lethal shot? Like we said, we owe it to the animal to have that ability. So anywhere from a 6.5 Creedmoor is not gonna have enough kinetic energy past a thousand yards like PRC will. Um, with all these new calibers coming out, it's my job to stay up to date and to learn all this, to be able to simply push it to the consumer or anybody that wants to be better at what they're doing. 
So I think that's really important too to talk about because here's the deal. We want you to understand what your rifle's capability is, but more importantly, we want you to understand what your capability is. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we discussed in here and, you know, and you got excited. I saw that on your, your face when we talked about the crosswinds because people don't understand how important it is to be able to call out a crosswind because you have a lot of shots get missed on those long range just because of the crosswind. So those are things that you're going to get to learn. The thing I'm going to tell you too is this, you get to bring any weapon you want. You want to bring in a brand new rifle that you bought and you want us to help you set it up. That's all part of the course. We'll take care of that. We'll get those scopes mounted properly. We'll get everything zeroed in, whatever you want to do. If you need help with a build, we have custom build of gun builders that we work with. We can get you a gun built. Again, we'll give you what we know works for us in the West and, and that we've had success with. So I think it's really important yeah. for everybody to understand. Yeah, I really love that you guys actually can kind of supply a weapon. If I'm looking at, hey, what's a good caliber? What do I want to do with it? I could come to your shooting school, shoot them, and then I could say, hey, 6.5 is the right load for me, or that's the right you know, caliber for me, and then talk about loads of bullets and whatnot. It, it's really cool that you can, you can go to this course and actually cover all that. So awesome job, super excited about this auction item. Bid on it, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Big Chino Outfitters, amazing operation down there in Arizona and a really cool opportunity to go learn about your rifle and learn about the different shooting positions and different things that you can do on big game hunts. Thanks guys. Thank you guys, look forward to having you. Thank you.